Raising water levels have become a concern. Displaced families are threatening their homes and livelihoods. The impact is being felt across the region as communities grapple with the loss of property and the challenges of relocation. Environmentalists have called for concerted efforts by government and oil drilling companies to make deliberate efforts in restoring ecosystems affected during the ongoing infrastructure developments in the Albertine Graben. Dr. Peter Babienda from Environment for Development Initiative says the continued encroachment on wetlands and other ecosystems along the lake shores have partly caused the increasing water levels being witnessed at Lake Albert and Lake Victoria. I must tell you that most of the rising water that you see there come as the result of the rising water of Lake Victoria through River Nile, the Albert, the Albert Nile. Um, that's where most of water is coming from. And the, the, the rising water is as a consequence of a number of factors. One, uh, the activities that we are doing uh, uh, near our water bodies. We are not respecting the buffer zones. We find park cultivating up to the water. So what happens is that when the rain comes, all soil goes into the, 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 the lake, causing what we call, uh, what we call uh, 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 soil solidification. So you, you have a lot of soil which makes the lake to become shallow. And as a result, there will be water flow. And this water flow, uh, that's how it has come up. Because if you have the buffer and uh, it rains heavily, it would mean that these wetlands would hold the water. But now if everything is cleared, it will imply that whatever comes, whether it is in the form of runoff, whether it is in the form of the rains themselves, it will just end up in the water bodies. This urgent call to action was echoed during the inclusive green economy training for senior public servants. Environmentalists also called for policymakers to reduce the cost of electricity and other clean energy sources, particularly in rural areas where communities rely heavily on biomass for their energy needs. It of course has uh, uh, the key role to play through the relevant ministries. The Minister of Energy and Mineral Development is coming up with so many initiatives. We pray that they are given money to, uh, uh, by the Minister of Finance to ensure that these initiatives are, are, are implemented. For example, they, they increase increase the connection of, of rural areas, connectivity to rural areas. Um, uh, issues to do with uh, uh, availing, like they want to talk of distribution of, of LPG cylinders. As the country prepares for National Development Plan 4, environmentalists are optimistic that the government will include climate financing and greening agenda to fight the ever-changing tough climatic conditions. Uh, we already have the Green Growth Development Strategy, which has key actions. Although it was initiated a long time before, uh, the trainings we've had under inclusive green economy, it is uh, the main document that, uh, that we, we front as, uh, as the guide for, that, for the achievement of green growth in the country. Sada Mubale, UBC News. Kampala.